Um, what attracted you to this one? Well, Steve Jobs is one of my heroes, like personal heroes. I'm, uh, I, I was like a biochemical engineering student in school and, and kind of one of those kids that didn't quite fit into this bucket or that bucket or this bucket. You know, I had appreciation for art and music and an appreciation for sports and appreciative for science and computer science and building things and construction. And I think that there was uh, um, just uh, a feeling of it, me at my greatest self could maybe someday become like that guy and uh, and so I wanted to play the character to improve myself as a human being um, I also wanted to play the character uh, because I admire the guy so much. Like, I care so much about him as a human being, and I, I wanted to give my best effort to portray him as a, in the most authentic way that I could. And, and I have a little bit of an avenue to the tech community, so I felt like I could, I could rise to the occasion. Did you watch any of his keynotes or other speeches to help prepare and inspire? I probably watched a hundred hours of footage. I've seen every keynote that he's given and every speech that I could find, every video. I had like audio files that I found of speeches he gave in like bizarre places that I would listen to while I was sleeping. So I, I yeah, I watched this stuff. Um, Here we got a, sorry, move on. Local Hi Park Ashton, City. how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, doing well. Tell me about uh, your feelings when you realized you were going to be playing one of the most iconic characters in American history. <laughs> I was terrified. <laughs> like, I'm just so scared to do that. And, you know, that's when life's fun is when we're approaching something or going after something that you sort of know in the back of your mind that you can do, but you've never done before. And, uh... Yeah, I was just scared. Yeah. Uh, what was your biggest surprise uh, going into this film and reading the script and interacting with these other characters? You know, I read the script really uh, pretty blindly um, as far as his personal life and how he was and with his employees and, and things like that. Just, um, I think some of his personal drama and issues were really surprising to me and I didn't know about. And then as I um, went and met people, there were just real little details that like I couldn't find in books and I couldn't find in videos about who he was and how he was and why he reacted the way he reacted to certain people. And, you know, like, you know, I was reading a book about him and was talking about how, how much he was crying. Like he would cry in, in like business in great engagements. I was like, I, what, I, I I couldn't like sort of connect the dots of why or how. And then, you know, I reached out to Jeffrey Katzenberg who knew him and had like a business exchange with him in which Steve cried and I, and and the, it enlightened me to understand. And there were just like details about him as a as a human being that uh, it was shocking. Right. Last question for you. What was the, the greatest takeaway that you uh, took from this film, your biggest discovery about jobs? I think it was a lesson I learned from a speech that I watched him give. And he, he said in the speech, when you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way that it is, and that your life is just to live your life inside the world, and try not to bash into the walls too much. But once you realize that that you can actually create the world you live in, and that you can put a dent in the universe yourself, and that the people who build this world are no smarter than you, that empowers you as a human. And I think um, I had, that was like a running stream through my brain the entire time I was seeing this. I think a little bit of residue was left behind and it really inspired me to go build things. Nice, thank you so Here's much. Dick. They took too quick. Hi. How's it going? When they see a movie like this, when they read a book like Walt Rogers, it's just painting more colors around um, What made you want to be involved with this film? As I know you're a big technician follower. Yeah, uh, well, I, 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 I'm very interested in technology, I'm very interested in innovation, and I'm very interested in entrepreneurship as a whole. And so, if you look at that collective, 
there's a natural hero in in that collective consciousness, and that's Steve Jobs. And to me, he's 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 heroic in the things that he accomplished uh, in his life. Um, to go from a, a kid that that uh, was dropping out of college, that didn't have enough money in his pocket to start a company and sells his van to start a company, to having the most successful business in the history of the world. Like, that's a pretty inspiring story. And, and, the, and it wasn't really an opportunity as much as an honor to, to play him. And what do you want audiences to take away from this film and your world as Steve Jobs? I want people to get excited about building things. And I want kids to grow up and, and think, uh, you know, my only option isn't to go work in this institution or this factory or this thing, that, that they could come up with an idea or solve a problem and turn that into a business for themselves and actually create innovation uh, and create positive change in the world with the tools that they can create. Wonderful. Thanks so much and best of luck with the film. What are you doing? Writers. Um, so how much, uh, why do you want to take this role with Steve so badly? What did Steve mean to you? Um, Steve, to me, Steve is a person sort of iconically stands, like, like personifies the words, yes you can. Like, it's possible. Um, because, you know, he sort of came from nothing and built the greatest, one of the greatest businesses in the history of the world. And, and built a tool that helps people in their lives, helps people solve problems, and, and he built a tool for the mind. And the, the, the honor to sort of represent that person. Uh, like, I, it's funny, you can't say no to it, as scared as I was to actually do it. I was going to say, how much pressure did you feel when you were taking this on? A lot. I mean, usually when people are doing films and they're playing people that actually live, those people usually died 10, 20, 50, 100 years ago. 